Hi everybody, it's Catherine here, and today is March 13th, 2023. Um, this is the follow-up doctor appointment video, letting you know um, how I've progressed since finishing my 5-fluorouracil treatment 46 days ago. So currently I am on day 67 from my first day of starting 5-fluorouracil. I, I can't believe it. I know that I said that in the last video and I'll continue to say it. The time flew by. It really did. Um, so I, I want anyone that's thinking about this treatment, that might be in this treatment, that might find out that they have to extend their treatment a little bit to stay positive because the results speak for themselves. It is so worth it. I'm not saying that you're going to be 100%, you know, skin cancer free. But the possibility of having so many little surprises um, pop up during your treatment and having them be effectively treated with, with the 5-FU chemo cream um, is absolutely probably the most, oh, what is the word? Um, it just security. It just, it, you know, it's not a guarantee for sure. It's not a guarantee. However, it, it, the peace of mind that it will bring you. And as you continue, um, watching your skin recover and continue to treat yourself as though you are a skin cancer patient, um, which means using your sunblock, using your head protection, um, you know, paying attention to um, the UV light that you're being exposed to in, you know, regular daily activity. Um, you know, you're never going to get away from that. You're just not. Um, this is not a one and done. Um, you will be a skin cancer patient for the rest of your born days. If you've had one basal cell or you've had 50 basal cells, if you've had a squamous cell, if you've had a malignant melanoma, now, the 5-FU is not effective on um, non-melanomic cancers. Um, so, you know, you just, you treat yourself as though you've had the worst case scenario. Um, you, you do all of your protective measures. Um, but that being said, so my visit with him, with him yesterday was really just soul relieving in a way. Um, if many of you are just jumping in right now and looking at, um, you know, this, this video as your first video with me, I'll just tell you that two years ago, I had a Mo surgery to remove my night, my right nostril. Um, it had a very deep seated basal cell carcinoma and it was not a fun process. Um, I, I, at some point will, get on and and give you the soup to nuts version of what that procedure was and it was not fun this by far was a picnic a walk in the park using this 5-FU chemo cream versus having to go through that most surgery and at that point the 5-FU cream most definitely would not have worked um it, it it, it just wouldn't have. It was just too deep into my skin. Um, but that being said, um, the nice thing is, is that um, I only had one spot that was obvious to him. I mean, I, I was so surprised because he just looked at my face and he he said, he said, well, I can see one spot we're going to be freezing today. And it was the, the one spot that through the entire treatment, I kept saying, you know, I have a concern about this one and I'm going to zoom in. And it was that spot right there. Um, the 5-FU did not do the job on it, even though I took it an extra seven days. So it actually had 28 days of 5-FU treatment. So what you're looking at right now is um, him freezing that spot. So um, that right there will be several days before that starts healing over. But overall, um, he was very, very pleased with the progress that I had. And I most definitely will be doing it a year from now. 
Um, so December, January will be my given month of 5-FU treatment. Um, and I'm on board for it. I will do it every year for the rest of my born days. Um, so let me get into showing you my skin. And I just want you to know as being consistent with all my other videos, I'm about 15 minutes out of the shower. The only thing I have on my screen, on my skin right now is the, um, CBD oil. And I will, con I will follow up with my moisturizer and then of course my two layers of sunblock. But for right now, all you're seeing is freshly washed skin with one layer of the CBD oil on it. And the thing that I want to make sure that you understand is that as your skin's healing, depending on how bad you bloomed or erupted, um, you will probably have months and months of redness that occur. Now, in my case, it occurs when I'm warm. It occurs when, for example, I'm bending over and picking up something um, that, you know, might be a little heavier than, you know, I should be picking up. Um, if I get overheated, like walking back and forth in, you know, the yard, moving things, whatever, um, I'm a huge gardener. So, you know, I'm lifting dirt and all kinds of crazy things. But, um, but for the most part, as for right now, you'll definitely see some redness in my skin and I'll point out, you know, what's still healing, but, um, you should expect that if you're not wearing, makeup, which I'm sure many people will not be wearing makeup, um, that you, you know, even when your blood pressure goes up, you're a little irritated, you might see some of the residual redness and take that over what the alternative was, which is skin cancer. So, um, I'm going to start with, uh, where will I start? I'll just go ahead and start with my chin. So, this right here is still healing and um, this spot right here doesn't show up unless I've taken a shower. So that will just go back to skin tone. This is still um, not chapped at all, but it definitely shows some redness. And he said that that's totally normal. Uh, as we move around the side of my face right here, this side of my nose, right in here and right there still have some redness um it does go back to flesh color most of the time unless like right now i'm right out of the shower so but i wanted you guys to see exactly what you would be looking at um this spot right here is actually vascular and i was very very concerned about that spot and you can see when i push on it it goes to flesh color and then it'll go back to red. So he said that will be um, a very, very slow heal, not to be concerned about it. And because I wear makeup most of the time, um, I'm able to conceal that pretty well, which is good. But outside of that, I'm just gonna give you a close up. Now the 5FU does not get rid of your melasma. It's not gonna get rid of your blackheads. It's um, gonna get rid of your actinic keratosis, um, those dry, rough spots on your face, um, those little tiny bumps that maybe get a little patchy on there. Um, what else can I tell you? I was trying to really pump in for information yesterday so I could relay it to you. Um, this right here will definitely have to be treated again next year, but it it, it eroded. I mean, I can feel that it eroded, but it still wants to stay a little redder than most spaces on my face. And that's because my glasses have a plastic bridge. So they sit firmly on my nose and they just have a solid plastic bridge. And so the pressure of wearing my um, reading glasses um, causes that to turn a little redder as well. And then these are, just before I took my shower, I had been reading for a couple of hours. And, um, so those will go away after a while today. This part of my face right here, I had initially some very large scabbing and I was very pleased that that healed up as nice as it did, but you can still see the melasma in there. Didn't, didn't get rid of that. And that darn wrinkle right there. Um, still, still there. 
So shoot, doesn't help with deep wrinkles. Um, my eyebrows, uh, we're still going to watch carefully. Um, and I'll probably be treating those down into here next year as well. But, um, when I went back and I actually showed him the pictures and the videos, um, he was very pleased with, um, how much erosion and, um, or I guess bloom and erosion I had had. And then again, here's where I had that really strange circle of, um, bumps and that's healing really nicely. And I know, you know, you guys looking at it probably aren't thinking it's looking so swift, but I have to tell you it is, it's looking good. <laughs> um, this was one that I had treated for some extra days as well. And I'm very glad that I did because that actually, I had asked multiple times to have that freeze from my old dermatologist and wouldn't do it. And then we get back to the other side. And then this was another one that he did not want to freeze right there. And I'm really glad, I'm really glad I did that one. So that is my day 67, 46 days from finishing my 5FU. Um, what I currently look like. And I will tell you, the texture of my skin feels so much better. Um, the appearance of my skin when I'm wearing makeup is so much better. I know that doesn't apply to everybody. Um, the one thing that I would love for all of you to consider if you still haven't made a decision about whether you're going to do this treatment or not, um, Talk to your doctor in depth. It's it, it's just mind blowing. It really is. It's it's not fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's not fun. But boy, I'll tell you, I'm so so happy with it. I would make sure that you take pictures throughout your treatment. If you're so inclined, take a video. Um, you don't have to do it daily, but you could mark it every three days or five days or something like that. But it's really nice to be able to go back and look and say, holy cow, this is, you know, this is where so, you know, something was really concentrated, which was like right in here for me. Um, this right here, you know, I had quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, I had something pop up on the tip of my nose. Oh my gosh. And in fact, when I push on it, you can kind of see it turning red. I'm going to have to be paying attention to that for my, you know, for a thousand reasons, because I don't want a Mo surgery that I had here to also become a Mo surgery that I had here. Um, so those are why those videos are really good and the photographs are really good, uh, you know, so that you can just go back and, you know, know during your treatment. And he actually wanted to go back and look at my day 14 through my day 21. Um, because he was just so surprised that it, it just took me so long to actually erupt. So it was really, really nice that I could show him those pictures and show him that video. And, you know, it, it, it you know, it reminded him, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, not everybody is going to, um, bloom or erupt the same way. And then the only other thing that I wanted to add, and I think I'm going to do a video on this, um, and this is not health advice. This is you investigate on your own. You talk to your doctor on your own. But um, several years ago, um, I had found out about niacinamide, which is um, a supplement that um, some doctors may or may not share with you, um, but it can help. It's not guaranteed to prevent, but it can help, um, prevent some, um, of the non-melanomic skin cancers. And it is a daily treatment. It's, um, 500 milligrams. Um, it might be under two different names, um, nicotinamide or niacinamide, I believe. Um, but do your own research on it in regards to, um, 
the supplement that will um, work with you and skin cancer. And I did uh, want to talk to him about that again yesterday um, because I have taken it and I have not taken the full dosage. It's, it's For me, it's a little hard on my stomach, um, but he definitely thinks that it's a good idea for me to do. And it's funny because I had to ask about it. So my old dermatologist, I had to ask him about it. So it's one of those things that you're not going to be voluntarily told unless your dermatologist is, is I don't know, you know, wanting to give you every skin care, skin cancer advantage on the face of the planet. But um, in doing the research on it, it really does have um, some promising um benefits. So, you know, talk to your doctor, do your own research. You can buy it very simply on Amazon. And, um, I've, I've, let's see, how many bottles have I used in the last several years? Maybe two, three, maybe three bottles. Um, so, you know, if it gives you one extra little step up, in, you know, helping you protect yourself, then that's something else that, you know, you should put in your arsenal. Um, so do the Effudex or the 5-FU. Do, you know, the nicotinamide or the niacinamide. Do, um, you know, double layers of sunblock and, um, you know, wear your hats, wear your long sleeves, do everything you're supposed to do. Um, we're in a select group we have to make sure that we keep ourselves safe and protected. So with that being said, I've got a couple of more videos that I'm doing with some, you know, good information. And um, I hope that you find this helpful. And I've missed seeing you and talking to you. And again, super, super, super happy. So I hope you guys are happy if you do this too. Thanks so much. Bye.